What is good? It is your boy Pablo Gray, and we are back with another reaction video. And today we got a clip from MSNBC. Title of this clip is Biden's are set to receive COVID COVID nineteen vaccine. Let's see how this goes. Depending on how this goes, if they actually get the real vaccine, Biden might not make it in office. I'm just saying. But um. Uh, before we get into the video, man, you like what I'm doing here, man. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. I really do appreciate everyone who had, who already has. Thank you for everyone who's been engaging with my content, whether it be on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, uh, Facebook, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, thank you, everybody who's purchased merch. I really appreciate that shit, man. We did pretty good with the numbers. Thank you. Um, just truly um, thankful. So, yeah, man, let's get into it. Well, uh, we'll move now to the latest on the vaccine. President-elect Joe Biden and Dr. Jill Biden will receive the first doses of the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine in Delaware today. The shots. Wow. Remember, anybody who's been keeping up with me, you know, when I'm not on YouTube, uh, I'm posting a lot on my Instagram and Facebook. I talked about the Pfizer uh, vaccine and how uh that some of the volunteers ended up developing developing a uh, bell palsy, which is uh, you know, the loss and loss of functioning on one side of your face or body. The very next day after this report came out, the U.S. approved Pfizer's vaccine for emergency use. The Bidens are about to try that shit. Again, like I said, these nigga, this nigga might not make it in the office if you try this shit. I don't wish nothing bad on him, but Biden, bro, don't take that shit. Bro, I don't wish death upon a lot of people, most people, the majority of people I have before. It ain't good. You shouldn't do it either. I can admit that, though. But I don't wish, I don't wish death upon Joe Biden, regardless of how bad and evil I might think he is. Bro, don't take that shit. If you love your family, dog, like you think you do. Don't take that shit or you about to fake fake like you about to take it and you about to make a hundred billion other people believe in that shit and have a couple thousand, couple hundred thousands, if not a million people probably getting injured from this vaccine. That ain't OK, bro. So, uh, yeah, we going to see will be administered in public as the president-elect hopes to send a clear message to the American people that the vaccine is safe. Vice President-elect Kamala Harris is set to receive her first dose of the vaccine next week. That wow. Um, also, there have been, if you've been on Instagram or Twitter, um, they probably got it on TikTok, but I don't be on TikTok and you know why. Um, fuck the... Uh, CCP. Um, anyway, there's been a lot of reports of these fake needles that have been used in these demonstrations on, on the TV. And there's also, there was a clip of a woman who was a doctor, a nurse, whatever the fuck. She was a medical professional on live TV, on the news. I forgot which television station, but uh, she got injected. She got the vaccine on live. Um, live television, and she ended up passing out on TV, fainting, um, while trying to talk about how safe it is right after getting getting the vac vaccine. So, ah, this this is going to be something crazy because there's a lot of misinformation out there, and there's a lot of information that's being hidden. Um, it's this is about to be fucking wowzers. I really want to see if they're gonna show themselves being vaccinated on TV and it makes you think like do they have to show themselves being vaccinated on TV is that just to get validation because they know a lot of people don't don't believe or like I don't know because if you were really on some boss shit bro you ain't got to say shit nigga I took the vaccine what the fuck you gonna do you know, but anyway back to the video that comes as the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention Advisory Committee issued its next set of recommendations for who will receive the vaccine. 
People ages 75 and older, along with essential workers, will be next in line following health care workers and those in assisted living centers. This group, deemed Phase 1B, includes first responders such as firefighters and police officers, teachers, postal workers, and others. Altogether, about 49 million people. The round is expected to start in the coming weeks after the CDC grants final approval. Meanwhile, the first shipments of the Moderna vaccine are in transit this morning as the next line of defense against the coronavirus takes shape. Distribution of the vaccine began yesterday, just two days after receiving emergency use authorization from the Food and Drug Administration. Look who the fuck they got checking, checking the shit out on the, on the fucking... They had to show the picture of the black people doing it. Wow. Wow. Y'all better not take this dumb ass shit. Y'all better not take this dumb ass shit. And y'all see what they doing? People who, who really need their jobs, these frontline workers, um, it's people who, who need things. So the older people, they, they want to live. So they believe they got to, you know, the older people, they worry about prolonging life. And if they being told by the authorities that this is safe, they're going to take it. That's just how they've been conditioned. We know this. And then everyone else, the frontline workers, people who worked hard to get in their jobs, who who put in time to get in the position that they're in. Because nine times out of 10, if you're a frontline worker, whether that means you're in health, um, you're a police officer, a firefighter, a doctor, a uh, post, postal worker, whatever the fuck, it took you some time to get in your position, whether it was schooling or, or working up to the position you had. You know you can't leave your job like that. You didn't put too much time in. You're working towards retirement. And now they're telling you, oh, if you want to maintain this job, you got to get vaccinated. So what do you do now? Do you quit the job that you've been putting so much work in over the years? Or do you get this fucking vaccine? They're going to make people choose. You heard how many people? I think she said 60 million people. That's 60 million workers that they know is a pretty good surefire that these people won't get vaccinated. Then we can work on the rest. That's some risky business, man. And don't do that shit, bro. <laughs> I don't know how many times I got to say it. Don't do that shit. Moderna will be shipping its vaccine nationwide through the healthcare supply chain management company McKesson, which says that initial deliveries should arrive by today. Now, according to Operation Warp Speed officials, nearly six million doses of the Moderna vaccine have been designated for distribution to more than 3,200 different locations across the country. Moderna anticipates that 20 million doses of its vaccine will be delivered by the end of the year. Thanks for checking out MSNBC. Y'all got me fucked up. I don't need to keep going on about this. Y'all heard what y'all need to hear. If y'all didn't already come to the conclusion by now on some shit, that's, that's your own damn fault. I don't know what else to fucking tell you. Again, last time. No, nah, it's not the last time, but the last time I'm going to say it in this video. Don't take that dumbass vaccine. I don't care who the fuck made it. Yeah. Um, you like what I'm doing here. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Thank you for helping me beat the algorithm. I love you. Pablo out. Peace.